Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to install Genimotion, the Android emulator on Linux distribution. Alright, so the video is going to be the really interesting one. Just watch till the end. Okay, now let's go ahead and download the Genimotion for your Linux distribution. Alright, so we have the system requirements for the Linux distribution. So we have the Ubuntu 22.04 and TS64 bit along with the Debian and the Fedora workstation. So I think the this is also going to work on the derivatives of the given list of the operating system, like derivatives of the Fedora or Debian and the Ubuntu. So if you are using the distributions that is based on the Debian and the Ubuntu, then you can also try on it. So let's go ahead and download the Gendy Motion Desktop 3.5.0. So if you have not downloaded, press on the download button and it will pop up. So as you can see, I have already downloaded the Gendy Motion Linux version binary. So I'm just going to cancel it and now uh, and let me go on to the downloads directory. So here as you can see we have the Gennimotion 3.5.0 Linux underscore x64 dot bin file. So the by default this binary file doesn't have the executable permission. So we have CS mode plus x Gennimotion dot bin. So after that you can just run the installer. This is a standalone installer of the Gendy Motion. So you can run it with the pseudo privilege as well as with the normal privilege. But later it might uh, need uh, some admin level access. So that's why let's not take the weeks and run it with the pseudo privilege. And let's keep the pseudo password here. And it's going to install the Gendy Motion onto the optional directory followed by the Gendy Mobile and the Gendy Motion directory. Right, so let's give the prompt and it, it's extracting the files. Shoot for a couple of minutes. Alright, so it's done installing. Now our simple task is to run the Gendy Motion from the GUI or we can also run or launch it from the shell. And we are given the another binary that is Gendy Motion Shell. If you are doing some debugging stuff with the Gendy Motion, then you can use the Gendy Motion Shell and launch the shell for the Android. Okay, so let me clear up the terminal. And before that, make sure you have the account on the official Gendy Motion website. So that is needed when you are launching the Gendy Motion application. And make sure you uh, sign up with the student. Right, so you can just simply press on it and go for the account. Well, let me launch the Gendy Motion, and uh, we got it here. And uh, I have already uh, logged in onto the app, and after that, you will see this kind of interface on the Gendy Motion, and you can just simply press onto the Add button in order to add the Android virtual machine. Okay, so it's kind of like virtual machine we can say it and you can select the different uh, Android devices on from the list along with the version of the Android device uh, which you want to run on the Gendy Motion. So for the demonstration of this video let's just go with the Google Nexus 6 onto the list and let's keep the name as the default one and if you are selecting the Android version uh, that is we have the 13 will in and they have the nine also so you can select with your desired need and uh, no matters whether it's google nexus 6 or the samsung s4 s9 or the y p30 pro because the ui is going to be the same one i have tested with three different android emulators on this gendy motion but output was the same and let me just go with the next and it's almost about 400 and 41.64 MB. I think it's gonna take time. And let me specify the memory as well. I think it needs the more memory. I'm just going to keep this 2 GB. Okay, let's press on the next. And let me keep the primary display resolution as the default one. And let's press the next. Okay, and I don't want to use the virtual keyboard because I'm fine with the physical one. And let's keep the network mode to the net and let's press on the reinstall button and it's gonna take some time obviously if you have the fastest internet then it's just a matter of couple of minutes 
Okay, fine. So device is installed successfully. Now if you are interested to start the machine, you can just simply press on the start button. Let's before that let me show you the other also. On here we had the size on the disk. It is just taking uh less than two GB of the storage to install the Android. And let's hit the start button. Okay. Now it's booting. Alright, so now we got the beautiful UI of this Google Nexus 6. So we cannot source this just while looking. What if we just deploy all these three Android emulators and all these three have the same UI? So there is nothing difference. Uh, well, so this is how you install the Gen Emotion Error Linux distribution and run the first Android emulator. So if you are thinking about playing some games on this Android emulator, then that is going to be the worst experience. But if you are about to do the penetration testing on your Android application, then this is going to be the best because for the testing, it's kind of the best in comparison to the other Android emulators. So now let me just close this and if you want to check for the functionalities then I can just do this swipe and you can see out the application and if you want the Play Store on your Gaining Motion Android emulator then you can also add it from here I think it's from here and you can just go on and search for the open install open the apps you can just click on it and close it and Press on this and accept the license and you will get the Google app, Google Play Store on your Gen Emotion Android emulator. And you can just begin with signing off your Google account and install the application that you need on your Gen Emotion. Right, so that was it and let it be completed first. I think I should cancel it and I'm just going to power off it. So that is most for this video. As usual, if you have any kinds of doubts or if you get any kinds of error while installing the Gaming Motion on your Linux distribution, then you can leave the uh, queries on in the comment below.